God to say, make sure you catch the show today, right? Sending shots out to the new Black Spot fam. Welcome to Jammy Journey and Daily Toast. We're going to toast this morning, right? Bring them out. Now, uh, just to let y'all know, supplements, red palm oil, coconut oil, black seed oil, that vinegar, not that apple cider, that is that, what is it called? That ambrosia vinegar, cayenne pepper, lime for this morning, all right? So, hey, I will see you on the show. Let's get it. Shouts out um, to everybody that's out there, that's live, as well as um, those that's watching in the future. Um, I want to send shouts out to the new Black Spot fam. Um, I just registered on Black Spot, so I'm going to be posting a daily toast up on that side as well. Um, I am doing, I am doing a lot better than I was two days ago. So, let's go on and start our, start our toast off. Get your water together. Of course, you know y'all got to start the water. Uh, for those that are new, you know what I'm saying? We start our day off on um, the um, Goose Sour Challenge and the Daily Toast. We start off first by watering ourselves. Some of y'all get up watering your plants. Some of y'all water your children. I'm saying, hey, get up early enough so that you get water inside of you. As a matter of fact, text one of your friends and say, stay hydrated. Somebody you love. So, drink some water. Here's to you. Mm. Mm. I know this glass is bigger than my other glass, so... Alright, I'm gonna do two of these and get my 16 ounces in. Get your 16 ounces in, fam. Mm. Mm. Peace to whoever else is out there. Now, family, here you go. Hotel, brother. Peace. All right. So, I don't have ambrosia ready yet. So, what I'm going to show y'all is another health drink. Because, remember, we start these days with health drinks. So, I have ta -da, some green tea. Because whenever I brew my ambrosia, my measurements are horrible. So, I am always... 
a little bit T extra. Plus, I do I do little experiments. So we'll start off with just a little. All right. Well, I ain't gonna say a little bit, but you know, we'll start off with uh, some of that green tea. Now I will be having possibly some ambrosia tomorrow. I ain't even sample it, y'all. It's been nice and warm in Columbus, so I ain't even I ain't even bothering. I'm just waiting because I got a couple of orders I need to go out. So then we got some lime juice. Um, my wife took all the real lime, so this is organic um, lime juice, and I made sure it had some of the oil, right? Because that's one of the important parts of the lime, you know what I'm saying? That's why in, in my ingredients, I use a whole lime because that, that you want to get that lime and that lemon oil, which is very powerful, by the way. All right, that's why I call it the Just League. So we're going to pour just a little bit of that in there. All right. We got... We got that... Cayenne pepper, right? I got a little cayenne capsule. I'm gonna pour that in there. So you, if you don't got that ambrosia, man, y'all come up with some of your own help drinks, you know. So, and to top it off, I got. I know some of y'all looking at it like that's that apple cider vinegar. No, nah, dog. This is that ambrosia vinegar. Mm-hmm. So I don't have ambrosia, but I got that ambrosia, that ambrosia vinegar. And we just gonna pour just a little bit. Just a little bit. A very, very little bit. Not a whole lot. Just just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just to lighten it up, just a little bit, you know. Just to bring it alive, just to get some of those probiotics in our life. We don't want a whole lot. We just want a little bit, all right? Just a little bit. That's it. Just a little bit. That's it. Yeah, all right. So, after we pour a little bit in, seal everything up. Remember, it's glass, so we got to be very careful because it's that crystal, y'all. It's that crystal. It's that grown people glass. This ain't that Kmart glass. It's that. So I gotta be very, very careful. Right? And we got our help train. So, those that are new to the journey, please remember we drink our water and we get our help train. You got, Shaki, you got your help train? Get your help train together. Miss Sheila, you got your help train? You ready? Because we're about to toast. Alright, YouTube, y'all got your help drink, because I know y'all watching a little bit later. Actually, y'all watching a day behind, because I started put. Uh, for those that don't know, we have a blog at giamijourney.com. I put a little, uh, well, actually, cayenne, cayenne helps, uh, uh, helps the blood flow. Now, since you just got out the hospital, you you don't need to talk to your doctor about that because you take some cayenne and things go wrong and you heal up and then you write a bad song about me. I ain't I can't have that shit. You know what I'm saying? You gonna talk to your professional about what cayenne to do for your heart. But I know cayenne helps the blood flow. All right. Um, so it warms you up and it gets everything moving. So if everything is moving, it start helping breaking down some of those barriers that might cause a heart attack. But go to the health professional because you know Brother High Tim is not a health professional. Brother High Tim is just a culture builder. That's all I am. Right? Well, I'm an urban shaman too. Y'all just saw me make one of my 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 old urban brew. So now let's toast our ancestors. I want to thank everybody once again for tuning in. This is all about toasting our ancestors, and we want to salute them. But first, we want to salute the Creator by whatever name you choose. Call that Creator. We call on the Creator to bless and guide us. We call on the Creator to help us in our healing. We we call on the Creator to help us through our pains and and our suffering. We call on that creative force that we already know is within us and is flowing around us. But we call on it to remind ourselves of our unity 
with it. All right, so we call that creator by whatever name you choose to call, and we say Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on our ancestors. We remember them. We 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 think about them. We reflect on the memories of them. We look at their put pictures. We we remember the advice that they gave us. Uh, we remember the good times. We remember the bad times. We remember the struggles, and we remember the lessons that they left us with. We toast our ancestors. We lift them up, and, and um, we, um, we ask them to be present in our lives. We ask them to surround and protect um, ourselves and, and our children. We ask them to protect our family line. We ask them to help our family line move from a point of where we are to the point where we know we need to be. So we toast our ancestors. Um, if you have any names, this is where you start saying them. If you want to share them and you want me to toast them up, on the show, I have no problem with that. So, you know, um, on YouTube, you can post it down in the comments below. Facebook, y'all know what to do. Go and type them up. Other than that, I'm going to start saying my family on my line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann Robert, the Texan, and David Herman Brown, C. Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, um, Christopher and Fanny Jackson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis. Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown, my Aunt Gina, um, Pastor Yusef Weston, um, Jamon Jones, Mama Malika, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, um, Elder Hairston, Elder Donaldson, Normal X, um, hold on, uh, Normal X. I got this star niece and I have no idea what to do with it. Do you know any tea recipes? Nope, but I know tea is just throwing throwing them leaves in the water. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, make it happen. Um, um shouts out to Theolis Hasbury, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Diane, Harvey Hasbury Senior, Aunt Evelyn. You know, keep them posting up. You know what I'm saying? We got to salute those ancestors. Remember them at all times. All right? So we toast our ancestors and we say, I say, right? From there, we move to this present moment. And this Ujamaa, and do I have a thought for y'all today? Right? For those on Facebook, on, on our YouTube, on the show on YouTube, on Daily Toast, what we're going to be talking about today. Y'all ready? Check this out. The wasted resource of black manhood and black womanhood. <sighs> Ujima, we salute this day and we say Ashe. From there, we move on and we salute our children, our children's children, on to infinity, right? We're talking about our grandkids, we're talking about our great grandkids, we're talking about seven generations from now. We're talking about us being a generational people, knowing that we have to return and treating this life as if we have to return. So we're going to live it to, our, to the fullest, but we're going we're gonna to fulfill all the things that we came down here to fulfill. And we say, I say, right? We toast our, um, oh, my fault. We toast the children. We toast the now. All right, so now. What we want to toast is any challenges that we may have, right? Any special blessings that we may need. We want to send our ancestors. We want, we want them to open the way for us, right? So we toast those and we say, I say, I say, I say. Oh, wow. That's the first time I had it on that side. I say, I wish y'all peace. Power, joy, and 100 years. My sinuses. Oh, 
Give me another one of those, family. So, hey. <coughs> Man. This time, I'm pouring me a little bit more of this um, ambrosia vinegar in there. Lord have mercy. That was, that was, that wasn't bad. Shit. I'm fully awake. You know, I've been struggling, y'all. So, I've been wanting, you know, at first, I didn't have a problem with getting up at 3.30, right? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a problem. Now I'm getting up. I'm on the rest till 4, 4 o'clock. Then I start getting ready for the show. Now, the goal is to start <gasps> taking my shower. Start taking my shower about 3.30. And possibly do some meditating so I can save a little bit of time. Cause you know I gotta get my kids ready. Gotta iron my kids' clothes. Um, and sometime I, I might be able to have some time to iron my wife's stuff before she get off and get ready to go to work. Um, all right. So now I'm making another one. Those that are sticking around, you know, like I said, you yeah, it's a health drink. Hell, we gone. We going to time with this. Cause I ain't getting ain't like I'm getting drunk. But damn, it was kind of that was like an adventure. I don't know how to do it. I don't, about to take another one of those. I, I got to use the bathroom. Now, it, this is this is incredible. All right, so y'all seen it. This is the green tea. All right, full of antioxidants. Good for the brain, right? Good for the heart, right? It's a little bit fermented, as you can see, you know. So this is live. Then, um, my ambrosia vinegar. I ain't, I'm not... I'm not producing this on a mass level yet. We working on it, right? Cayenne. Give me a little cayenne. I'll drop that up in there. Now, another thing I like about cayenne, whatever um, other herb you put it with, cayenne makes that herb work a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah it's an adventure. Did I pour lemon juice in there already? I mean, lime juice. We got the lime juice. Ooh, my wife is killing this. Yeah, did I put lime juice in this already? All right, we gonna throw a little. We gonna throw a little curveball up on this thing. Now, this coconut oil. All right. I find out coconut oil also helps detoxify the body. Okay, cool. You know I'm old. It helps detoxify the body. So we're going to throw a little coconut oil in there. Alright. We're going to stir it up. Wait a minute. There's a little cayenne left in this tablet here. Uh oh. We don't want nothing to go to waste. We don't waste nothing here Giamme because you know we on a budget. Alright. So I got everything in. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Like I said, when you got that crystal, you got to be careful, y'all. Got to be careful. Man. All right. All right, YouTube. I'll see y'all in a minute. See you tomorrow morning. Woo! I think I got a new drink. Ooh. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. I'm breaking out in a cold sweat. Man. All right, y'all. See y'all later on uh, Facebook. All right. So. Breaking out a cold sweat. Ow. 
in a cold sweat. All right, y'all, fam, check this out. Today is the day of Ujuma. Cooperative economics. Uh, the modic principle is reciprocity. Uh, um, we are also talking about gratitude, which is one of the M7 principles. Um, uh, the hermetic law is polarity. Male name is Yao. Female name is Ya. All right. Now, for those that are new, I um, want to welcome those on Black Spot. Right. So each day we break the day down into the principles that are represented. So we're using the Guza Saba. We're, we're using the seven laws of Maya. We're also using the seven hermetic laws. And we're using the African day names. We also have the um, colors for each chakra. So each one of these line up with a chakra point because there's seven major chakras, right? Um, seven days, seven principles, all right? Um, um, and the color for the day is, since we're talking about economic, cooperative economics, is green. Now, I didn't plan it like that. It fell on that day, all right? So today is Ujima. When you say the day, and I owe some push-ups, when you say the day that you've been taught to say, right, you do push-ups. do push-ups for the culture, right? We push up for the culture, right? We struggle for the culture, right? But today, we want to talk about the wasted resource of black or African manhood and womanhood, right? The other day, I wasn't able to do my show. And I wasn't able to do my show because I lost control of myself. Um, I, I, I got into a dispute and, um, I was, I was very, um, I was, I was, as uh, Brother Ocasio would say, where were you on that spectrum, right? Because we got those six emotions. We talk about the five parts of the being, right? Five parts of the being, intuition. Mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, right? We got the six emotions. We got mad, sad, scared, um, powerful, peaceful, or joyous, right? And those six, those six emotions come together to make up the rest of the emotions, like the major colors come up to make up the rest of the colors. Then you got the seven principles. Fell all the way off. Right? I, I allow myself to be baited. And, um, you know, I started acting a fool um, with somebody else because they came in and felt they could act a fool. Right? And I wasn't going to let them out fool me. Right? And at that point in time, I started thinking about the resources that I wasted. Right? The, the, the wasted um, manhood and womanhood because I felt that the individual that came at me um, wasn't coming at me in in a sense in her role. You know what I'm saying? And I used that as an excuse to justify me acting up, I mean, acting a fool in a, in, in, in a sense. My breathing went totally out the window so it was no longer... Even with, it was like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, we, we are wasting two major resources. And it's because we really don't understand the power of these things. In today's society, it's okay to be um, a female man. And it's okay for a man to be female and, and all this, right? Because we got the letter. We got to let ourselves go, right, right, and nowhere else is this, this more of a, a, a fact than in, in, in my community, right, you know, we, we're allowed to let the lines blur, 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm not I'm not even talking about um the, the whole homosexual gay and I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about where you got people acting as multiple roles. You got mamas being daddies, you know what I'm saying, to be proud of it. You don't want cars on Father Days and you got fathers being mamas and maybe getting gifts and people calling them on Mother's Day like you 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 know you still serve the purpose of mother, blah blah blah. Family. Wasted resource. Right? We are wasting the power of our manhood. We are wasting the power of our womanhood by us not mastering one of them. Right? Now, you do, in, in certain cultures, you did have those individuals, those spiritual beings that operate on both sides. Right? You did have, like, for example, in some cultures, Elder women who went through life change were able to sit in both worlds, right, supposedly, right? Why? Because, you know what I'm saying? She, you you got, you figured out, you do your own research. But after they went through the change, you know what I'm saying? They, they were looked upon as, boom, they were balanced, right? But we balance each other off. Not that we don't disagree, because like I said, in that conflict, right? What is a warrior? One a warrior is one who is experienced or involved in conflict. What happens from conflict? Growth. Right? What happens from conflict, right? Growth. Right? From that pain, from that suffering and that struggle comes growth. Because there is no life without growth, right? A lot of us want it to be easy. A lot of us want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's why we want the lines blurred because we believe that's easy, right? So this is the point, right? We are wasting a major, major, major resource in our community by not, one, mastering the manhood and the woman who are not taking charge of the manhood and the woman who are allowing individuals just to claim it, right? At one at one point in time in, in our history, being able to say you was a man was a privilege, not a right. At one point in time, in order to be recognized as a woman, it was a privilege. I mean, you don't it, it, you know what I'm saying? It was a it was a privilege, not a right. You didn't just become in society. My fault now, and because I know some of y'all get mad at me. Women went through their own initiation system. Now, this is what I mean when I say this. Listen, women were born for the family. Women maintained the family. Women maintained the bloodline. This is why a lot of our royalty went through the female went through the woman, the bloodline went, went, went with the woman and the name traveled with the woman and the children stayed with the woman because the woman built the family. So in a sense, the woman was the family builder, right? Men, in order to compute, compete with the, with the magic of the woman, see, because y'all got to understand this. I want, ladies, I want y'all to understand this. Giving birth is a miraculous magical thing and it was very intimidating for men because we didn't have now first off y'all had a cycle that we could notice we would look up and be like damn this happening every time of the month just like nature she's cyclical you know what I'm saying I mean she got all the gifts she's connected to the she's connected to the universe right men had to come up with something in order to 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 fill that in, so we come up with culture, right? I know y'all like, well, what are you saying, man? Create the culture. We needed to create a culture because women were so damn powerful. We had to come up with something. Look, you were in cycle, and on top of that, you create little people. Little people come out of you, right? You go to the edge of death. And when you come back, you bring more life. That's magic. That's powerful. You know what I'm saying? That's something worth. That's something worth honoring. That's something worth imitating. Right? So how could men 
compete with that. You know what I'm saying? We had to come up with our own birthing process. This is this is out of out of this, out of this desire came culture because you gave birth to the people. You created the people. We gave birth to the culture. Men, we are culture keepers and culture protectors. Why? Because the culture is our child and we become the child of the culture. Because the culture came from men and in a sense the men maintained it because through the culture, manhood is born. Right? What do I mean? When you look at African secret societies and you look at the process of individuals becoming men because it's a passage in all truth, right? Women never needed it because y'all went through a rites of passage. You know what I'm saying? You being you being born, you giving birth, you will have monthly cycles. There were certain signs that you were moving into womanhood that we didn't get. Uh, you yeah, know, we got their face, the face, the the hair on our face, and the ability to impregnate, but we didn't we didn't have the ultimate initiation ritual that you had. What do I mean? What's an initiation ritual? Initiation ritual takes you to the edge of death, if not death itself. See, and I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear this, right? Because a lot of y'all want to be comfortable. A lot of you want to be men in comfort. A lot of y'all want to be women in comfort, right? But that giving birth piece, that going to the edge of death, if not going into death itself, is 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 a is is a journey and a process that people have to go through. This is why it's easy for us to to not be loyal. You know, that's right. Them hoes ain't loyal, right? Because it's so easy for a motherfucker just to break your bond, right? See, there's a different type of bond between a mother and her children. You see what I'm saying? Why she she gave birth? She 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 she. Push them out. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different type of bond. And it's a different type of bond between men that go through a process together. Or they, they share a process across generations. Where in a sense, they as men gave birth. So when you look at traditional men societies where we went through shit together. Right? Where we took individuals and we separated them. We initiated them and we gave birth to them in the men quarters, which is which women was a salute to you because that was the womb that we created to imitate the womb that you got in you. And in that womb, we would produce and create men. And out that womb, when we when they when we took the young people in and, and get the young men in and molded and shaped them, we would push out. Keepers of the culture, bearers of the culture, individuals that was worthy of you. I need, I need y'all understand. Wasted. We we look we 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 looking at this shit wrong, right? You know what I'm saying? See, we felt as men that it was our responsibility to prepare ourselves. To be worthy of you. Because the magic you have. Right now we don't look at it as magic. Right now having babies is something when you go to hospital. I want y'all to, to ask yourself this question. If having babies requires you to go to the hospital. Right? What was motherfuckers doing before? My fault. What was father fuckers doing before, before the hospitals? You know what I'm saying? We... We have been on this planet for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, giving birth to these big head babies. And, and just in this last period of our history, we've been going to the hospital, laying down, which is ass backwards, having babies, right? My question is, if having babies is so dangerous, where was babies being had before hospitals? Y'all came up with that process. Y'all had a better process. Right? So we felt as men 
that we had to make ourselves worthy of you. You know what I'm saying? How could how could I how could I even present myself to you and ask you to sacrifice a piece of your life and bring forth my seed if I'm not worthy? So we came up with a process where we made men. And just like you gave birth to little people, we gave birth to culture. And we made sure that we passed this on. And this shit was unbroken for generations. Then we ran into the West Asians, y'all. Because they understood, because they was doing the same shit, because they learned it from us. And they understood that if they broke that, and they broke down the respect that we had for womanhood, and they broke, then they, and then in breaking that respect that we have for womanhood, we they break the respect that y'all have for the manhood. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, giving birth is just something that you, you, you naturally do. It's nothing special. You know what I'm saying? Except when you come to the hospital and give us fifteen thousand dollars, it's nothing special. It's easy to just do that. You can lay down with anybody. You know, you know. I give the scientific terms of the sperm and the egg, and they combine and blah blah blah. Like I told y'all last night on my show, when we start figuring out shit and we think we know it, we fuck it up. Right? Because you got the egg, you got the sperm, and when you just bring them together, voila, it automatically make a baby. And somehow, the baby just rolls some dice and get the right DNA and then select the DNA, then the baby is born. We figured that shit out. And I'm telling y'all right now, that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. There's still some mystery in that shit. And once we start realizing the mystery, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and start allowing a woman to embrace the mystery of who she is in her process and allow her to appreciate her process and we as men start learning to appreciate her and her process and be like, damn, I have to make myself worthy of, of women, right? And then I go into my corner with the men and we, we start recreating this culture and we start bringing this thing because the culture, what the culture does it helps the it helps it helps mold and shape the man and make him make him worthy of the woman. But the woman got to feel worthy. The woman got to know her magic. She got to know her power. She got to know her connection to the great mystery. We done lost that shit. Cause we done figured everything out. You know every goddamn thing. At least you think you do. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know how to control our economics. We don't know how to control the polit the politics in our life. You know what I'm saying? We, we we I mean, you know, we don't know how to produce products. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how to stop the crime in our motherfucking neighborhoods. We don't know how to raise our kids no goddamn more. We don't know how to educate them. You know what I'm saying? We gotta send that send them off for that too. We know every goddamn thing. But all the things that make life Worth living. Do you know that, you know what I'm saying, long before the incursions, whether we're talking about Africa, whether we're talking about uh, Polynesia, whether we're talking about Australia, we're talking about America, do you know that the people was having a good time? Do you realize how good life was. Yeah, they had disease. Of course, y'all gonna of course people come out and put on. But do you do you really realize how good life was? Do you I mean, do you not understand why technology wasn't um I mean, we had technology just enough? Do you realize why we wasn't pushing to for all the shit that we got around us now, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't because ingenuity wasn't available. It's because we didn't need that shit. All this shit we got right now, we need. Right? Why? Because we're moving and living in places that we were not born to live in. So, because I am not adapted and ready for the cold, I got to have me a house that's going to warm me up. Right? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, overheat. Right? 
I got, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm not used to the, 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 the hot. I got to have a house to cool me down. I got to have, I got to have all this, all these extra things because I'm not in, I'm not in contact with my magic. I'm not taking advantage of the power of manhood. So once again, I'm over y'all fam. I'm sorry. I try. So we need to stop wasting this resource, right? And this also lines up with um, Ujima, great Ujima, by the way. Cooperative economics, you know, I'm talking about those those resources, economics, reciprocity, you know what I'm saying? Um, gratitude and polarity, right? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I went over, but I want to send shots out just in case you've been watching all the way through. I want y'all to put some comments below, yo. Put some comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Let, let's keep building, all right? I want to, and I also want to say, Peace to all my Black Spot um, watchers, because I know some of y'all going to be coming, checking out, because I'm posting this up on Black Spot too. You know what I'm saying? So, peace. Go back and, and view some of the previous ones, because I've been doing this since the beginning of this year, daily, daily. I'm changing the day. I conquered this shit, right? And I discovered the week, and I'm declaring that today, is Ujima. If you understand the Guza Sama, you can lay them Guza Sama down and you can know the rest of the week. So I'm going to finish my drink. I'm going to move on. Oh, let's take a breath, family. Complete breath. I'm blowing it out. Ready? Started with the belly. Moved up. Hold it. Hold it. Now, remember the power of retaining your breath, family. I'm telling you, you are one breath away from greatness. One. Let's keep working on it. We're going to work on it together. Some of us, we're going to be able to hold our breath for five, six, seven, eight minutes. Let's keep it up, all right? I'm going to finish my drink. And I am. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.